right, so guys, so I know it's been a while, I'm sorry, but I have been absolutely swamped with work for my new business, which has just been awesome, but that sort of makes YouTube fall to the wayside since this doesn't quite pay as well as that does. But I've got the TW200 up in the air today. We are gonna sub the tires and head out for some winter riding. But I'll be using these grip studs. These are the 1740 models, so these are actually an off-road version. They sell a slightly shorter on-road version. They obviously have a very deep auger blade on them, which should keep them from getting ripped out. Should also keep them from getting pushed any further in. The head is not quite as tall as I thought it would be, but hopefully that's enough. You can get much more aggressive ones than this, but I've only got 3 8 inch of tread, so I didn't want to go with anything deeper. And I'm actually super excited about this. I've wanted to do this for a long time, so let's get these babies in. test those out I've got to stick a new intercom in my helmet so I get offers to test Bluetooth communicators all the time and most of the time I just say no but because of the couple really nice features that these things have I decided I had to try them out these are the T nicer T4 communicators these will run Bluetooth but they also run something called mesh and that mesh capability is supposedly much better than Bluetooth uh, it will let you connect to as many other mesh riders as you can find I guess there is no limit it's supposed to connect faster and it's actually supposed to have no delay like Bluetooth does got a couple different mounting options couple different face plates if you want to change the color and then all the goodies and I think this is maybe a smaller mic you can plug in if you don't want the big boom mic the other awesome thing about these is that you can also connect them to your phone you can talk to your buddy while you're riding and you can have it still connected to your phone at the same time which I think my dad and I are both really gonna like a lot of times we have to choose between talking to each other and kind of having that safety net just in case one rider sees something that the other one doesn't or listening to music, and now I'll be able to do both. So after a lot of second guessing and hemming and hawing, I finally decided to stick the other grip sets that I bought in the D-Sports on the KLR650. I mounted these a little bit farther out than I did with the TW, so hopefully that's not a bad thing. I just wanted a little bit of extra grip. Actually some of these I think I backed out a little bit too, and I stuck some more down the center of the back, so hopefully, hopefully we can go somewhere. I guess we'll find out. We're going to get these things going. There's some deep snow. Ah. Oh yeah, this is not good. <laughs> I think the fat tires on there kind of make it hard actually. I'm surprised how well I'm doing on this. Did you try standing up at all or not? I'm not standing up. <laughs> no? What <laughs> for? <laughs> I, th I think it helps. It's kind of like, whoa, like sand. Woo! catch all sorts of largemouth in here. Remember that? Oh yeah. That was fun. Is that where we are? It is where we are. Yeah. Well, I hope it don't break anything. I'm going to Montana in two weeks. Woo! Yeah, don't do that. That's why I gave you the TW. Oh, thank you. Ooh, now don't hit a stump. <laughs> There's one. Woo! Yeah, that 18 horsepower isn't allowing me to do what you're doing. <laughs> <laughs> or else it's some fatter tires. I don't know how I saved that. Oh, shouldn't have said that. <laughs> Woo! Yeah, these studs definitely help a lot compared to the last time I was out with this when I was not studded. Yeah, I'm really starting to get a little bit more confident on this thing. Yeah, it definitely takes a bit, and I think there's still... There's still a fine line that you're riding between traction and not, but 
I think the studs definitely are a big help, but the thing is with them, they're not good in every situation. Like I went out in the yard with the TW and it was just a fight to do anything at all. Yeah, this is kind of fun. Yeah. It had, you know, some of the same char characteristics as no, no uh, studs that you slide around and stuff until you realize that when you slide around, you lean a little bit and you just, uh, you know, it doesn't slide out on you. You don't want to get too confident, but yeah, I mean, it definitely, it makes a, it makes a big difference. Yeah, these other tracks are really what screws me up. That makes it hard. Spent a lot of time out here when I was younger. Wife and I would come out here all the time. Oh, I missed the loop. Am I still in first gear? I guess you don't really need second out here. <laughs> I'm gonna spin around and hit that track. Oh, I've been in second quite a bit. Woo! Yeah, it doesn't fishtail unless you do it. Uh, I mean, you can't do a donut unless you do have deep snow. Yeah. Well, at least with the power this thing has. Yeah, you kinda gotta drop the clutch on that to make it do anything. That's just a dead end? Yeah, I think so. I take my kayak through here. Yeah, this is the first place we ever kayaked. Back before kayaking was cool. Yeah, there really weren't that many people doing it when I bought mine. Look at the airplane. Coming in for a landing. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> There's a path up here to the main part of the river, but I don't know if we want to do it or not. Yeah. Either. Oops, I think I just ran over some coyote poop. Sure, there's going to be a lot of snowmobile tracks, but I don't know that, how much that means. Yeah. Oh, shoot. Oh, I hate the sled tracks. <laughs> the pristine snow is by far more easy to understand what it's going to happen. Whoa. It keeps shifting down like I'm in a different gear other than first. <laughs> Can I try that for a minute? Oh, uh, sure. <sighs> <laughs> a whole bunch, whole bunch of water came pouring out of the uh, oh. uh the, the skid plate there's plenty to melt in there yet yeah i don't think this goes nearly as good and i think there's more studs in this than there is in that oh wow yeah th this is terrible i think it's keeping you on top of the snow yeah i think so yeah you don't get down to the ice yeah but as soon as you get to uh shallow snow Eagle. It's definitely a lot. I don't know. It. I mean, it feels good that it's lighter. It definitely doesn't feel near as connected to the ground. I really thought this would be like the clear winner, and that's why. I was so hesitant to put the studs into that because this just it's so hard to get going and yeah it's not hard to control it just like doesn't seem like it's meant to be out here type of thing where this i mean as heavy as it is man it goes well the tires are thinner and it weighs more so i'm sure it gets down to the ice better yeah and a lot bigger lugs on the tires in general regardless of whether it's got the the grip studs on it or not i think that that helps because it kind of paddles the snow sure look at that it's all packed up full of snow Oh yeah. It's like driving on bald tires with studs. Alright, we're gonna go take a look at the channel. The main channel, not the swanky cat channel. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, I have way more takeoff power than you do. How weird. Oh, did I miss it? Well, there is a thing right here. I thought it was here. Oh! I got stuck to my pegs. <laughs> my little kayak trail actually. <laughs> Yeah! Look out, cattails! Here I come! Oh, you got a better run, run than I do. Ah. Ooh. Is that just snowpack that makes this look taller? Must be. Yeah, there's no snowmobile tracks. Ugh. I mean, this is pretty wide. That's true. There's a crack! There is. Oh, we can't go. <laughs> Big crack, too. Look at no, that. No water coming through it, though. Looks old. I think we'd be all right. Yeah, I think so, too. At least I will. I don't know about you. Go 
Go Diego! Woohoo! Am I gonna make it? Uh, I didn't hear any cracking. <laughs> Go Ben, go! Yeah! <laughs> I can't go fast enough to hurt myself anyway. <laughs> but yeah, the front seems to respond really nice on here where my Sherpa did not. Ooh, look at him go. <laughs> there you go. I think if we go that way and around, I think I think there's another channel, right? We can stay close to the shore. There you go. I ain't getting the hang of it. Yeah, I feel tons more stable than the Sherpa. Oh no, this is where I fell in. Oh yeah, we can go, oh it is, isn't it? <laughs> oh, is that a, oh wait a minute though, is that just a dead end again? We're fine. Right. Oh, that's a beaver dam right there. Follow the deer trail, where? Uh, just right behind us, off to my right. My buddy lives there, I gotta go see it. Your buddy? <laughs> the angry oh, that's right, it is your buddy, isn't it? The angry beaver, he hates me. Yeah, you guys go kayaking together all the time. Yeah, we go kayaking together. Ooh, I cannot carve to the right, or whatever you call it. Beaver buddy, it's me! <laughs> the guy who you always harass on the kayak, you <laughs> <laughs> He jump, does! Ju jump over his thing. Should I? Oh, that'd be mean. Once he circled my kayak like three times, and uh, then I said, hey, I'm getting dizzy, can you go the other way for a while? Then he slapped his tail and he went under, but other times, like in the dark, He'd swim up to me and slap his tail on the water right next to me and scare the living <laughs> out of me. <laughs> oh, that <laughs> And I ask other people on kayaks, did you see the angry beaver? And they're like, what? Uh, we didn't see any beaver. It's like every time I go by there, that beaver's out there looking for me. He, he probably says, every time I go out to find food at night, this guy's always in this big, big oh. kayak. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh that scare the out of you. Yeah, I bet. And then you're sitting there with your arms hanging out, and I'm like, I've never heard of a beaver biting anybody. But it's still like you kind of pull your arms in a little bit. <laughs> it might be a little deep on this side, but when you get to the other side, it's like shallow, shallow. Go, baby, go! <laughs> yeah, this is really a nice little spot back here until it all turns uh, algae and weeds. In the spring, it's really nice. Yeah, see, I think that's the channel I was thinking of just to our left there. I think that's, that's where I wanted to come from. Yeah, I don't quite have enough studs in the front of this to trust it. <laughs> oh! Is that an ice fishing uh, sled somebody was pulling? Oh, yeah, it could be. Maybe just kids or something? Yeah, who knows? Maybe there's bluegills in here. Yeah, there could be. Uh-oh! Oh, what happened? Something wrong with the bike? Yeah. Like what? I don't know. It just quit. Oh, it's probably out of gas. Oh, you think so? I think when you get to half a tank, you need to put it on reserve. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah, she's good. Oh. There's a funny little feedback on these too, huh? Uh, yeah, there is a little bit of a buzz. Woo! Stop putting my feet down. I don't feel like I need to on here. Ah! Oh, no! <laughs> ah! <laughs> yeah, I'm really getting used to this. Good. See? Aha! <laughs> uh -huh. Look at you go. <laughs> This might be really deep snow. Oh yeah. Oh. I don't think there's anywhere to go either. Nope, nowhere to go. <laughs> just, just more deep snow. Ugh. Woo! Yeah, it was gonna be 40 degrees today, so I was like, ah, oh, like what do I want to stick all these spend two hours sticking studs in and then ride on the lake and not have any fun because I won't be able to go anywhere. I'll be too afraid because it's too heavy. And you know, why not just go out on the road since it's warmer than now? Only have ice for so long. I might as well give it a shot. And man, I'm so glad we did. This is awesome. That's main channel now out there, right? Uh, yeah, that's where we came from, I think. Oh, is it? Oh yeah, I guess that's the tracks. Oh, so yeah, yeah, so this is the trail that I was thinking I wanted to, to go on. 
a beaver hole or some kind of hole, muskrat hole. Maybe this isn't anything here. Uh, they might be otter. Otters hole. Yeah, that's what I was thinking of actually, I think. Yeah, there's quite a few otters on here. They're uh, pretty entertaining. They are funny little animals, aren't they? Yeah, see, I think this is what I was looking for before because there's a bit of a labyrinth back here of not really trails, I guess, but today they're trails for us. Either we're going to come to a dead end. Nope, I think we're good. Whoa, 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 whoa. Why is it quit doing that? <laughs> What's your plan here? I don't know. What do you think? I don't know. It scares me a little bit. What a little bit? I said it scares me a little bit. Yeah. Ooh. There was some side slipping. Yeah, I think a few more studs in this would definitely make me a lot more confident. But these do pretty good how they are. I mean, we can get a pretty good running start here. Yeah. If you want to, and just head straight that way. Yeah. Right. I don't think it's over four feet deep. You ready? I'm getting a running start. All right. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> That's not a running start. Here we go. Go, Ben, go. Success. And now slow down. <laughs> <laughs> well, hell, if you if you made it cross that pig, I can go slow on this one. <laughs> yeah, I suppose you're going to have to creep along, aren't you? I'm getting a better running start than that. Got to get this 12 horsepower working for me again. Well, this is a good range test. Yeah, you're quite a ways away from me, and they still sound pretty good. You can hear me, right? Ooh, I can. <laughs> I'm a little busy. Go, Jay, go. Woo! 30 miles an hour. <laughs> All right, 25. Sure feels a lot faster. <laughs> yeah, it does. I think I made it to like third gear. Well, that was a heck of a lot of fun. Are we done? No, I'm just going to end the video. We can cruise around a bit. So thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully this video was enjoyable. If it was, let me know down in the comments section. I don't know if we'll get back out on the, the water again, but I think we'll definitely have to see if we can test these out on some trails up north before the snow comes off up there. So be looking forward to that. Other than that, guys, Check links down in the description if you want to pick up any of the stuff that we've been testing out today. I think everything gets a, a thumbs up, especially the grip studs. The, the communicators seem like they work pretty good. I, I think um, the, all the capabilities that they have definitely make them worth it. And Jerry and I are pretty far away right now, and I can still hear them. Whoa! <laughs> Did you see that? Definitely has some capability to it. What happened? You hit a hole? Oh, I was just doing some uh -huh. donuts. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Take care. Stay safe. Stay swanky. Get out here and enjoy it anytime you can, even if you got to stick several hundred studs in your tires get out here and enjoy the beautiful days while you got them play in the snow play in the snow play in it live in the snow oh Ooh. oh i'm asking for it now <laughs>